to a complete stranger as um, a happy septuagenarian, a mother of two children who has had a career spanning all of those 70 years. I grew up in a family of actors. Both my parents were actors. Uh, my father, Jimmy Hanley, was accepted as a very handsome, tall, blonde, good-looking chap. Um, but I didn't really get to know him or meet him till I was about 10 years old because my parents separated when I was about one. My mother, Dinah Sheridan, continued with her career, which she started... Um, she was actually a child advertiser. She was a, 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 an oval teeny, which was a, a chocolate evening drink for children. And they would sing on the radio to advertise the oval teen. Um, she did films from about 16, I think was the first film she starred in. Carried on her film career until she married the head of the rank organization. Uh, when I was seven years old and then she gave up for 12 years and then went back to acting again uh, um, did plays the West End toured and then got a wonderful film called The Railway Children which made her again famous and much talked about and much admired as she had been when she'd done Genevieve which had been her last film before that to grow up in an acting family, um, as I said, I, I didn't consciously meet my father till I was about 10 or 11. My mother spent a lot of time away with her career. She was busy. She uh, would go, in fact, one time she was about nine months on location in Africa doing a film called When No Vultures Fly. So my brother, who is just over a year older than I am, and I cleaved together, and we were the best of friends. And when he became a Cub Scout, I sat outside. Well, in fact, I sat on top of the Cub Scout hut, uh, which was made of corrugated iron, and drummed my feet on the walls and um, I was so annoying they invited me in. So I was an honorary cub very early on. <laughs> was it inevitable that I went into show business? No. My brother was the one who wanted to be an actor, but uh, my mother and I, and he had chats and we realized that if he found himself in his thirties married with children and no work, that would be really terrible. So he qualified as an accountant and his personality and his looks took him to be very, very shortly invited to be an accountancy lecturer. And he was voted the top accountancy lecturer of Great Britain after only two years. The boy succeeds. I, however, was as shy as could be and didn't want to play with adults whatsoever. I wanted to be a nanny and a governess. I was happy with children and animals. Uh, but my mother's divorce, um, her second divorce, was very bad. We needed money. So my brother, as uh, an article clerk, was earning, well, not even enough for peanuts. So I went out to work. They offered me a, a job as a model, as a model tutor actually. I taught modelling, so my brother and I obviously had something in common there. And then one day, one of the teenage fashion models was poorly, and the head of our agency, a lady called Madame Seignon, who was beautiful, she was Eurasian and looked so exotic, and she sent me to the, courier, the couturiers to do the showroom modeling as the teenage model and it sort of started from there after a bad start 
I was so short-sighted, I didn't see the end of the runway and so walked off the end of it, but got back up and was offered another job. And eventually it, uh, it spiraled from there. Happy times. <laughs>